No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker will be talking so much shit, but hey, man, we're prepping for part two, y'all, man. He's, he's grabbing, Ro Stan is grabbing Rocco right now. Trev is right here. Yeah, I'm testing something. I gotta find the right tree. This is just gonna get difficult. We got a good system at the crib. So I'm trying to find the best way to, to do this. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> we will spectate this. It's a bit of a problem. <laughs> So just trying to find the right set. Around these trees, unfortunately, there's a lot of thorns too. Um, so you like, hey, I do not want my dog getting cut up or any of that stuff. You guys don't know this. What did Lydia tell us? Cactus will kill a dog? You don't remember. So nah, nah, bro. It's yeah. okay. We, we've been a lot of places, seen a lot of dogs and know a lot of people. But uh, you just got to find the right system. This little pulley system, as I said, it's going to preserve some of the dog's joints. And I'm studying the anatomy slowly but surely. So I can continue to... Uh, Push my dog in my own limits, right? Like this is too. I like to I like to watch the bag come up off the ground. <laughs> but all the everything around here is all fucking thorns. How tall are you? Six foot? Yeah. That'd be about what? Six three, six four off the ground? Well, it's crazy people, man. These dogs will literally jump that high <laughs> because they love their owner so much. In a way, you know. That's why the, it's important for you all to build a bond. Because when you build that bond with your dog, you can get shot. them to do almost anything, like jump up here, and you're about to see this live. No, well, not live. We're pre-recorded here in a second. <laughs> Did you get that, you think? Okay. Rock, you ready? <laughs> Trying to jump over me. Nope. Come on. All right, you know what we're doing now? He's going to try to jump off that tree wire. Come on, eat. You ready? Come on. Up. Come on. Figure it out, some play, boy. So as you can see, oh, Rocco is very agitated right now, trying to get up there. Just keep barking at it. Come on, boy. Right Stan there. is trying to boost his confidence, trying to get him up there. Holding it steady for him. Ooh, almost. You can see, he even tries to use Stan and even the tree at times as a point of reference to launch off of. Because he's trying to figure it out. Come on. Come on. He's getting there. He knows he can get it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. There you there go. There he boy. is. That my boy. That's on the fucking uh, 40 pound bag. Back down there, hold this up. I'm gonna see. In some regard, if the bag come up, so I'm gonna go pull in this bag or yank it like that. It'll start touching the ground. The more it's touching the ground, the more confident it actually is. He ain't heavy enough to pull it down. 
<laughs> he about 50, he about 58 pounds. Oh, he going to the head, that's what's coming down. Yep. That's so funny because we just said somebody sent a, a 50 pound dog to bite me. He said I would just pick it up and run off. <laughs> she hit. She hit. Tell, tell hey. Tell me that would be a real good video. Let's see Rocco do it. <laughs> Come on, you know you can get it now, Playboy. You know you can get it now, huh? Eat! Oh, there it is. So go ahead and explain some. Just gonna explain some what just happened. I mean, so he was sitting there agitated for a bit, couldn't get it, couldn't get it. You were motivating him, building his confidence up, and then finally, when he was able to get there, boom, you let him back out there on his own. Yeah. So kind of. Just, so, so basically, it's just like once a dog knows that they can do something, especially an athletic dog, they're going to go do it again. So that's why you want to build the dog up, but not help him too much. I was helping him, encouraging him, building his, hey, 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 calm down. Building his confidence up. So now he's gotten it once or twice. Now on the third one, he should get it even better because now he knows, hey, 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 hey. Now he knows how much energy he needs to exhibit to get the reward so now he should go harder now that he's won a couple times yeah and, and, and people this is just some fun stuff i've been putting together to keep my dogs having fun the key is is like make sure they're like ready and willing to work so ego goes out there he knows he's about to have some fun if you see stan he, he was being cool until you see stan he's like oh we about to play brother <laughs> he get riled up and whine he been cool all morning long but this right here is a good little system again it helps from my experience so far, no pounding. Again, they're gonna miss it a few times, but they're gonna also build their confidence. Let them get a little taste. Now they're motivated as shit. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's do I want him to jump off the tree and do like a backflip. I got, I got one of the videos where he did that and then got up there. I got the grill. Ready? Oh, come on, old man. Yeah. Oh, use the tree. Use the tree then. I know you're tired. Four quarter, four quarter, come on. Yeah, yeah. Four quarter, come on. Yeah. Ooh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's reset. You ain't gonna stand there and bark at it. You gotta work. You want it? You want it or not? You want it? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love this dog, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to do it again? <laughs> hey, bro, don't break your arm now, boy. <laughs> oh, no, my car. You got one more. You got one more in you? I love this dog, man. You ready? Hey, I'm gonna slow more too, nigga. On that one? Oh, wait, I'm gonna wait for Trevor again. You ready? We need that full speed. Come on. Yeah. No. Yeah. So you were asking in the other episode, how do you know if your dog's tired? Again, you can see his tongue is really, really large, and he's starting to get a little white around it, and he's petting. So he's working harder than Oakley was because he's missing. Hey. Because he's missing, so he's having to use that energy. She was using different types of muscles. He's using his mental stimulation because he has to figure out, okay, if I jump off this, I might be able to get it. So he's thinking a lot more than just using his physical nature. You ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good boy, Rock. There you go. And then we'll just let them hang on that one. Let them win and enjoy it. Because that's what it's about. I got all that. That shit was good. That last one. Yeah, that. rock star. Let's put a stop watch on. Let's let them hang for 30 seconds. Yeah, come on, old man. I know. That's good. That's good, old man. You wanna see Creed do it? 
<laughs> shit, he gonna try. You show me getting a bite, he gonna try. So, so listen, people, if you've ever done anything that's mentally exhausting, hopefully you understand what he's saying. You can physically do work and be tired. You can mentally do work and be exhausted and be fucking dead at the end of the day. When your dog's thinking things through the way this dog was thinking things through, it's like, bro, I'm tired, man. I'm tired, so he's exerting more energy because he's like, I gotta get this. That's the other thing. He's highly motivated. Again, some small setup, small concussion. We did the resistance band. We did, you know, a form of resistance bands here with the bite pillow. I switched these toys up and make it more complicated for the dogs. I'm gonna keep making it more complicated because I want to see my dogs get better. Eagle's the only dog that I can play with like this at the moment in time, and he's doing swell. And I love seeing this because this just motivates me to keep my dog going. That keep being said, anything else you want to leave it with when it comes to exercise? Because we're gonna try the other dogs, mind you. Yeah. We're gonna bring the other dogs out, but this is like the episode objective. Um, so in this here, he's having to, to breathe through his nose and he's also breathing through the side. So he's working on his wind, building up that, them lungs endurance as well. You know, with COVID out, we gotta make sure the lungs stay strong. So this does more than just build him up physically, mentally, building that endurance. Cause cardiovascular is different than muscles, just like Trevor was saying earlier. So have fun with your dog, build a bond, be there to support them when they need you, and then they're gonna do stuff like this for you. It's all about that bond and the relationship. Don't ever overlook that most important thing. Have a bond with your dog. You do everything. <laughs> Right, so we're rolling right now. I know you just mentioned the stand that you know you told uh old boy to go get his dog. You bring an ego out now. You're about to crack it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this boy just he won't stop. You want me to you need to hold him? <laughs> yeah, hold this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what's about to happen, people, he's gonna put the vest on ego, he's gonna probably tie him up as well. He's gonna tie him up so you can um, have him watch, get him all revved up. He's already revved up. Exactly, but get him revved up even more. <laughs> And uh, what else do you think that also does for him as well when you, when you back time like he that? See that? He see that toy, that's his problem. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, he sees that toy over here, people. <laughs> he's just sitting here, he's about to go crazy. Sponsored by True Beast. Alright, let's go out there. So please explain to some of the people out there who are new to this industry why you're doing this. Uh, this right here is going to get him excited. <laughs> and this is a toy that, I mean, I ain't even picked it up. But he knows the toys out here, so he wants to. And he's a nut. Definitely, man. Uh, follow the leader. There's a leader on every team, and dogs, monkey see, monkey do. That's a real saying. So when a dog sees another dog doing something, it inspires them. I take all my dogs around this dog's mother. His mother's the best dog I got. Uh, and again, that's why he's this way. So getting him prepared to take over the pack and lead, it's a whole nother thing. Can't figure out how to turn the camera around on the lot. I'm putting him on these resistance bands the whole time. That's gonna be working the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> I got it. You yeah. got Yeah. <laughs> Some of y'all not this strong, people. <laughs> You're holding a 70 pound dog <laughs> that wants to move. But he can't. You gotta be stronger than your dogs. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, you're not going nowhere, are you? Hey! <laughs> Whoa, man! It's another day in the life of the Everybody. 
try to work speed. There you go. Bring him back. Take him off the, uh, if you're going to have it on, put it on the dead. You put it on the heart. Alright, you probably ain't going to go nowhere. You can take it off so you don't get it put up. Can you go back from it? <laughs> she don't bite me in the ass. <laughs> He goes man motivated, he's working to stabilize the muscle people. He got three, has a double finish shrink. Oh. 40 pound bag. There you go. Too easy, boy. So, Trev has Ego tied up right now, back tied with these resistance bands. Ego is excited, he wants to do what he's doing. He sees Creed up there and he's over here working these stabilizer muscles right now, wearing this vest and these resistance bands. Trying to get over here so he can do what Creed is doing. He wants to do it so, so bad. So just like Trev said, monkey see, monkey do. And this is what the... Woo, that's that drive you want right there, people. Oh, wheel. Look at that wheel. He got the heart. He got the heart. We got juice booger in there too. Good shit. Uh, this <laughs> And he's just ready. Yeah, so he's getting it, we're going to raise it up a little bit more. Boom, so there we go. The stands said they're going to raise it a little bit more. Make it work, make it work. Ready? <laughs> yeah, come on. Take it out. Oh, get up, get up, let's go! Yeah, come on! <laughs> yes, sir! That's what you want, that's what you want, build that bone. <laughs> yeah! This is the end of life. Work your dog, work your dog, build a barn, all of that. He's having a blast. Look at that. Look at the tail. He wants to. He wants it. Boys having fun too. He just won't smile. Right. Let's raise it up a little more for him. Out. Nope. Yeah, the wind blowing now. Time it. Come on, time it. You know, his tongue's hanging out. People are starting to get that tire. Here you go over here. Gotcha. Work. Resetting him. He's going to reset him here. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Play ball. He's Work. sitting there analyzing. Trying to figure it out. Yes, oh, on, almost. Right no! Almost. Still got Ego here in the back over here. Wants to be a, every bit a part of this. And he's going to get his chance. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Jamil's going to reset him. Yeah, boy, come on, you do it. This shit. Oh, you get tired. I know, bro. He's jumping, trying to jump backwards. Get it. That's it. That's that one. That's that one. Oh, that ain't the Bro, one. what you doing? <laughs> it's a lot of time, Daddy. Uh, make it successful. Yes. Oh, there you go.
And you do that last part there, make it successful for him so that they leave on a win, right? Yeah, we don't want to discourage the dog. He tried hard, he's jumping, he was jumping a little higher than that, he's getting tired, so we want to make sure he leaves on a good note. We want to make sure he's confident, he's successful, all that. I had that nigga in a tree somewhere. <laughs> you got to pace yourself with these bullies, but these kind of niggas, I had a German Shepherd growing up, two of them. I could have one like this, boy. I'd be acting crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to take. Hang on, the office. I need. I need that, the, the media. Ego, ego over here. He's still ready. I can't go to bed. Life is good. Yeah, when well, he don't you be chilling. That's good. You That's good. Hear, he knows about so do me a favor. Is that, that you gonna end on that note? Yeah. So put him on the leash, and I'm gonna let him off. Out. We gonna lower it and get ego going. Cause now you've seen people. He's been on this resistance band forever long. This dog's been jumping. Seven Ever. minutes. Seven minutes. That resistance band is no joke, man. It is. Oh wow. <laughs> Ego's been at the edge of it the whole time. When both bands are attached, and look, all you keep doing is running. When both bands are attached, that's 120 pounds. A normal bully would fall the fuck out by now. It's about 80 degrees in Texas right now. Now we're in the shadow, but it's still hot. A regular bully, I fell the fuck out by now. That's just the truth. What is he, a fit bully? That's right. Yeah, FBK, huh? You got no lazy niggas around my house. None. Mr. 175? Come on. Oh, Mr. 175? Come on. Woo, he digging in my stomach. Woo, he digging in my stomach. Do it this way, Trey. I feel like I'm getting shot. Let go, let go. I feel like I'm getting shot in this bitch. Oh, Trey, you gotta be smarter. Oh. <laughs> shoot me. Mind you, this is a 70-pound dog. He's gonna let go at some point because he ain't got a good bite. Stan does a good job of pushing dogs up, but look, see that system? Hey! Hold on, hold on, you can keep getting in. He getting there, people. People. Work, 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 work. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so in this case, would he should he normally go up and help our sister with the bottle a little bit to get a better grip on there? Yeah, but like he's saying, if he's he's gonna have to hold him up to get it because if he tries to rebite, he's gonna lose it. Gotcha. Which is a good thing because he's actually working on his muscles there. Okay. Um, this isn't necessarily the best tool to work on bite development. Yeah. Because they're not getting full mouth bites on it. Uh -huh. uh, this is more of a building a want to and a desire to do it. And then we can always, he's going to the, the end there because again, that's an easier bite for him. It's yeah. hanging down a little bit lower. Yeah. So he's cheating. But again, dogs are never going to use more energy than they have to to get the desired result. Gotcha. So that one, that's a better bite though, correct? Yeah, that's a, that's a better bite there. And if anything, you come and pull it down, and then when he rebites himself, then you let him work again. And now mind you people, what I love about this is, mind you, while he's biting, that's 40 pounds he's holding in the air. That's 40, it's 40 pounds in here with the bag. We've measured it out. We put it on the scale in another video. So he's never really winning <laughs> because he's always working. Yeah. And that's a win for me because I love a working dog. Yeah. Oh man, back out. Right, well, we gonna, we gonna do a second thing. Okay. If he needs to shoot, we're using the gimbal as well. Okay. This, this, this whole shooting thing is for him, not me. It's shooting me. And the dog's having fun, the people enjoying it. That's all that matters. That's what, you, that's what it's about. Ow. Hey, ow. Ow. So I got the puppy in there. We got the old man in there. We got some stuff. We got we, everybody cracking. Everybody having a good time. <laughs> not let go. Can't get that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. close though. <laughs> Try. 
the boy eagle. Come on. It's right there. Nice. <laughs> so I count this set, people. We did this five times. I do it when I put it up. When it's when all four feet are on the ground, I take it out of his mouth. Redo it. He got five sets of this. Now, mind you, the whole time he's working. The whole time he's working. So as he keeps shaking and pulling, he feels more confident as he gets off because he can stabilize. He's like, all right, I can relax now. He does not like having any of his paws off the ground. You know, if you like, you got a dog that don't like being on his back, especially if it's a dog that bites the kind of aggressive at times. You can't. He's like, nah, bro, I don't belong on my back, and they ain't gonna let no dog pin him down. So the whole time he's trying to get his four feet on the ground. And once he does, then you see him like pause. Ooh. <laughs> hey, sir, he is a nice dog. He ain't even finished yet. That's the crazy part. Yeah. He ain't even, he just a year. He ain't even, he a, he a year June 26th. So you're talking about a 10 month old, 10 month going on 11 month old dog. And, and, and I have no clue what he's gonna turn into because they pop again at two years. Two years they look a little bit more, you know, uh oh. <laughs> so I got a whole other year to better this dog. Yep. But as far as development goes, his frame is there. And now we get to expand it, just build him out a little bit more. He said, holy shit, that's going to be a beast. That's the goal. Yeah. And, and Tweet ain't going to be the one taking bites from him. <laughs> <laughs> that 70 pounds different, boy. He get, there, he get to the ground a lot quicker. Yeah. Come on, Eagle, let's go. See how motivated he is too. People look, when your dog's playing, you train him. He got another dog out, he didn't even trip off the dog. He wanted to get to that bike for Bad. <laughs> he like, I want to do what he doing. Yeah, the spring pole, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go get the garage scroll thing, a garage thing too, especially as it gets heavier to make sure he's not pulling the yanking. But keep in mind, how did I compensate for the spring pole thing? Because I put the weights in there. Yep. So he never actually comes down and deals with no shock, if you will. It's always something counterbalancing. When he, and he jumps up, it don't come straight down. And then he gets heavier, he add more weight. Yep. So I like that X, that X dog drag bag from Tosh and Got. Gotta be creative, especially with these smart dogs. Yeah, because they figure stuff out quick. Mm -hmm. See his feet almost on the ground? He can go the whole time he's working. He's thinking about it. He's like, man, I've got more strength and stability here. So he pulls out, but he cannot pull. Where do dogs do? They do. They push from here. When they tugging and pulling, they push from here. That's like literally doing a bench press. So the faster he get his four feet on the ground, the faster he can pause. Yeah. He got one right foot. See, now he's resting. But while he's resting, he's still holding. Look at how that 40 pound, that 40 pound bag is up off the ground. This is about the metal tank, so you can see. There you go. I'll give him one more jump. Once he touches the ground again, relaxes, and then I'll put him up. Out. Out. Hey. Out. Out. That's probably what we're working on too, folks. <laughs> no, no, no. Last week, Stan was here, and Jamarcus was too. His outs were good. But what happens when you take fucking three, four days off at no time? They don't act like you don't know me. <laughs> no, act like you don't know who I am. But also, if they're working harder, they're not going to want to let go as well. So, he worked hard for that. So, he want to hold on to that prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind you, but every... Hold on. <laughs> yeah, let's put him up real quick. Hold on, hold on. So, real quick, though, but what he was saying, though, is like... There was like a week ago, he was actually working on his outs every single day, every single day. Last week, we go out that Friday. We go out that Friday. He's working with them out here. He's telling them out. We're out in the field over there. He's telling them out and Ego's letting go. It's because he was working with them consistently for a week straight on his out. This is stuff that you that he does a lot of behind the scenes. You guys don't see a lot of this stuff. I sometimes don't even see a lot of this stuff and I'm with them behind the scenes a lot of the time. But the point is, is you gotta work with your dogs if you really want them to do what it is that you want them to do. Plain and simple, there's no way around it. He worked with his dog for a week straight, every single day, multiple times a day for that matter, to help work on his out. And then 
he went he had to go do a bunch of stuff work wise as, as far as shooting and all kinds of other things and he's gone for about three almost four days without working with his dog consistently and what happened was shooting yesterday and for him not even working with him three to four days he lost the out command so it is absolutely imperative that repetition 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 is absolute key when you're doing anything to build your dog up plain and simple whether it's you're teaching him how to sit lay down doesn't matter and in this case where he was teaching him out he had him he had the out command pretty well then he took the three four days off and then just like anything else if you don't use it you lose it so as always take care of your dog people I was gonna say you want to end it? Oh yeah, yeah, my bad. I'm good. You good. You good. Oh man, come over here. Oh, we're not, uh, close now first. Yeah. Rest. <laughs> there we go. What's we'll moving? <laughs> you ready? Hey, listen, people. Iron Sharp K9. The guy I work with to make better my dogs. When we get together, all our dogs get better. We get better as well because we're working through challenges, learning how our dogs are thinking, how we can improve ourselves, our dogs, the communications with our dogs. Ego's back there dying. Now he's like, whoo! Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take him, put him up, turn the air on, let him cool off. There you go. While we get those dogs, other dogs out, we're gonna put together a more interesting video <laughs> uh, with more effort. This is good, but this is just like for you guys to see what it looks like to yeah. really train and... This that raw content, man. Raw, man. This that raw. raw. This that so, raw. So, what do you think of this setup right here? Man, I like it. Like, like I said, I need to get me one of these at the house. I, ain't get, I just don't got no trees, man. So, I'm going to have to get like a metal thing and get somebody to build it. I wish I was handy, man. I wish I was a damn handy, You can man. save a lot of money. And I just be looking like, huh, I wonder how I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I be thinking. wonder what that look like. I ain't got no trees in my yard. It's flat. <laughs> trees, man. They solve a problem. Get a couple spring pole ropes, a mm -hmm. couple X dog uh, accoutrements. Fucking uh, a nice. That's a good word. <laughs> a, a, a bite pillow right here. Next thing you know, your dogs being great people. Like, share, subscribe. Got questions about dog training, dog solutions, dog challenges, dog anything? Hit this man up. I focus more on the nutrition and I train be you know because I want my dogs to be you know better than average dogs. But you know this is a process and hopefully you're learning something from the things that we're doing. Stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Yes, sir. So, just finished doing some work with Rocco. Actually, all of them. Rocco, Oakley, Oakley Juice. Juice. Who else we had? Ego, Creed. Creed. Hey man, we had the whole squad out today. Squad goals, man. Squad yeah, goals. Absolutely. Y'all will see that. Y'all see that throughout the episode, man. All the stuff that we were doing. Um, but big recap, man. You know, what are your thoughts on today? What do you think? Are some things that you feel like you could not only do better yourself personally, um, as a, as a trainer. But um, also, you know, things that your dog could probably do better as well. <laughs> See, uh, uh, what's going on audible. back there? Yo, it's not um, I mean, it was a good day. I mean, I like doing stuff like this. This is how Rocco and I got started. It was basically we'd go to a park and have some fun, uh, building a bond and communication. And stuff like this, especially with competitive dogs like Ego, with Rocco, with Jukes even, they want to do this. They want to keep going. They want to. And that's what I like to see. So Trevor coming up with stuff like this is interesting and it's fun. And that's what dog training should be. It should be about building that bond with a relationship, not only with the dog, with the people that you're working with as well. Yeah. Because you do develop a camaraderie. Because again, like you, you get bit by my dogs and you just, it's not just a normal thing. You gotta kind of trust and there's gotta be a level of communication between us so everybody stays safe and everybody has fun while they're doing it. Mm -hmm. um, me as a handler, you know, don't get upset, you know, the little stuff, trust your dog, be there to support them, all those kind of things. What are some of the little things that you maybe said that you're highlighting? Um, I mean, like I said, frustrated with Oakley because she doesn't out when she gets super amped up. Just little things like that that you got to clean up and you got to understand that when they're going in a new environment, it may not be perfect. And that's the thing. There is no perfect for a dog. They're always going to be working no matter how experienced your dog is, no matter how much time you spend working with your dog. There's always going to be something else that you're going to need to do or you're going to need to polish up. Because if you add control, you're gonna lose intensity. And if you add intensity, you're gonna lose control. So it's just about finding that perfect balance in between those. Um, so yeah, it's just, there's no finish line. Um, mm -hmm. The biggest thing with Juice is I gotta let him grow up. He's only like four or five months old. So he's still yeah. very, very young, but he's just so athletic and he wants to. So it's like, oh, let's do this, let's do this. It's like, okay, slow down, slow down, Stan. Let the pup grow up. 
But I think everybody just gets in a rush, man. But yeah. it's just so much fun, and we see the potential where these dogs can get to. And we just got to continue to, you know, brick by brick, like Trevor said, just do something every day with your dog. Mm -hmm. Even if it's five minutes, you know, go out there, five minutes of work. Then the next day, go seven minutes of work. And then just keep building up to the point where you can go 45 minutes, where you can go an hour, where you can just have them hanging there while you go get a brake stick out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all of these things. And he's just going to build that intensity and that, that drive and that desire and let him know that I like it that's why Rocco does what he does is because I let him know that I enjoy it I want him to do it and I like it when he does these things yeah. so we're marking those behaviors letting him know how to win and we're gonna be there to support him good stuff man and then top three things for new handlers or owners who want to get their dog in this type of uh, environment or atmosphere um the top thing is get them in the environment and atmosphere. Dog's not gonna know that they can do it until you take them out. Um, we build up our dog's confidence in a controlled environment at home in you guys' backyard and then we take them out in public after they already have done the things that we're asking them to do in public. Um, and start slow. Like you saw, we kept lowering it down for the dogs when they first started. And then after they got it, we raised it up, raised it up. And even the old man, he was trying, he just couldn't turn his head just enough to get it. But I mean, I just love that dog. He just has so much passion and drive and he just wants to and he'll keep going like <laughs> if he if I didn't put him up he'd still be out there trying to get it so mm -hmm. um, take the time don't get in a rush build a relationship with your dog and have clear communication what you expect from them and be there to support them and you heard it first you guys saw it first people you know stand dog man he comes out here at least once a week works with us works with me works with all of our dogs Trev just helping of course help us better our dogs and of course it's an opportunity for him to help better himself um, as a handler as a trainer even as a businessman as well too so you know like you said environment is key you got to get your dog in those environments and you got to get yourself in those environments too because you can't learn unless you put yourself out there in that environment first so remember a dog is an extension of yourself so if you're not willing to take that risk to go out there and get uncomfortable and go out and get a new um you know environments where you have to go out there and test not only yourself but also your dog most importantly then your dog will never grow so just make sure get out there get uncomfortable put yourself and your dog in those environments build the bond i don't think i don't know if you caught it but man throughout this whole entire episode he kept always saying build the bond build the bond build the bond and that's even something i'm working on with my pup right now and i just said the other night for example i was uh, asked trevor like, hey can you help me work with my recall and just even him working with me in my recall for about three or four minutes he could already tell that like, hey he's like you're not spending enough time with the dog bond wise he's like you know there's not enough love there so you got to spend more time with your dog so that's on me at the end of the day that's on me as an owner i'm not spending enough time as i thought i was so that's something i've been working on since then but that's the whole point of this process it is constant effort not on just the dog side but most importantly your side so appreciate y'all tuning in people stay in the dog man as always man appreciate him coming out appreciate y'all tuning in don't forget to like subscribe of course go follow every single one of us that are in this video for the everybody. most part everybody <laughs> i am stan 90 right yes sir and that's on almost all platforms mm -hmm. and trust me you'll know when you see it because you see the boots, man. Because you it's see the boots. boots. Them boots, man. That's the signature, man. Them Texas yeah, boots, the trademark, bro. Trademark. That's the trademark, man. Look for those bad boys. But as always, y'all, take care of your dogs. Yes, sir.